Hello, my name is Chris, and today I want to try to answer the question, how long does it take for to become a normal non-smoker? How long does it take until not smoking feels normal after you've quit? Today we are out here in Michigan. It is freezing cold, but it is kind of beautiful too. I flew like half the way around the world just to make a video for you. I'm only joking. <laughs> It is nice to be out here. I feel good. I feel happy. I haven't thought about smoking. I haven't felt like having a cigarette the whole time I've been here. We've been having fun and having lots of adventures. But it hasn't always been that way. There was a time when quitting smoking was like a big, huge, monumental struggle for me. And what one of the questions I'm often asked is how long does it take to get from that stage to this stage? Now, it is difficult for me to give you a concrete answer and to say to you, okay, it will definitely happen within three months or six months or nine months or 12 years. It is difficult for me to say that because although I have my experiences and I'm going to share those with you today, I also know, you know, since I started making these videos, I've spoken to some of you guys who said, okay, I quit smoking and three months later, I feel like I've, you know, like a normal, healthy, happy non-smoker and it doesn't bother me at all. I've also spoken to people who said, you know, Chris, I'm, I'm 18 months down the line and I still struggle with this. I'm still in the ex-smoker stage, which I'm going to talk to you about in a little moment. So, so yeah, so I can't give you a definite timeline even though I wish I could and maybe one day we'll do some research to find out when it happens for most people but what I can tell you is when I started to become you know a normal when not smoking started to become normal for me I posted on the finding freedom Facebook group there's all those complicated F's again. The Finding Freedom Facebook group. You can come and join us. The link is down in the description below. I posted there a couple of days ago about the different stages of quitting smoking and how we kind of, we transition from one into the other. And it starts for all of us as, you know, stage one, we are still smokers who are, thinking of quitting we know the damage that it do, is doing to us we're unhappy about smoking and we've decided that yes we are going to quit but we are not there yet so we make that decision and we transition we make a very conscious transition from being smokers into people who are quitting smoking and when we're in this stage, we are in the stage of quitting smoking. We are very conscious of the fact that we are not smoking. But this is the stage when we start to go through the withdrawal symptoms. We struggle a bit. We may tear our hair out. We may log onto YouTube and find the weird blonde British guy talking about quitting smoking all the time. It is a struggle for us and not smoking feels very weird and very peculiar and we're conscious all the time that that's where we're at. Then at some point, we kind of, we make this, I'll call it an unconscious transition into being ex-smokers. We've kind of, we've gone through the quit. All the nicotine is out of our body and most of, most of the psychological struggles that we have have kind of subsided too, but we're still at a stage where we're not smoking is still not normal for us. For such a long time, smoking cigarettes was our default setting. So, you know, we, it takes a long time to like reset that default. And as we're in this stage of being ex-smokers, we're kind of resetting our default. So we may not struggle as much. We may still have those one or two days when like really stressful things happen. And like we may have those 
those stressful things may trigger you know we perhaps want a cigarette but we get through it and for me I can say to you that this stage happened to me probably around three to six months after my last cigarette I became I, I was no longer quitting I was an ex-smoker it still felt very weird and I was still very much aware of the fact that I wasn't smoking but it was becoming easier and easier day by day there is another stage after becoming an ex-smoker which is becoming a non-smoker which is becoming you know like a person who has never smoked a cigarette before in their lives and I feel that that's the stage that I'm at now I'm sort of what two and a half years down into my journey and I don't think about cigarettes I don't feel like smoking I mean when I say I don't think about cigarettes I obviously think about cigarettes and smoking more than probably most non-smokers because I do this weird thing where I stand in front of a camera and talk to you about <laughs> quitting smoking all the time but when I think about you know for me personally now when I think about smoking and cigarettes it's very it's very different it's like kind of detached almost I'm thinking about you know how can I talk about this in a way that may help you I'm not thinking about how can I get a cigarette to help me so we get to this stage of being a non-smoker and you know we don't ever even when we are triggered even when terrible things are happening we don't think about I'll have a cigarette and the cigarette will cure this because it would make no sense to like my girlfriend has never smoked so when she goes through stressful situations her default setting isn't I'm going to have a cigarette because it would be a bizarre thing to do and I'm in that same state of mind right now where okay Monday I think it was like all my I'm flying out here into Michigan all my planes got delayed it was a nightmare to get over here I remember years ago a similar thing happening and I was like tearing my hair out and chain smoking and this was at the same time when I was still dealing with my, my alcohol problems so I got blind drunk and it was just a nightmare and I made a complete mess of it whereas this time all the planes got cancelled and, and crazy things happened and at no point did I think I'm going to have a cigarette and it'll cure this because it makes no sense I'm kind of getting used to doing all the videos in one take so I can't remember now what I've told you and what I haven't but if I haven't already said this a couple of minutes ago I think for me this stage kind of happened between 9 and 12 months for me personally between 9 and 12 months I transitioned into being my name's Chris and I don't think about cigarettes I'm never tempted I feel quite normal feel quite healthy you know I may I still go through stressful situations and there are still times when I might you know turn to something that isn't cigarettes or alcohol just to help me de-stress but you know cigarettes never makes any sense to me anymore so that is the kind of for me that is how I transition that is how long it took for me to become you know for, for not smoking to become normal but like I say it might be different for you my advice as much as I can give you advice on this is to think about the stage that you are at are you an ex-smoker right now or have you transitioned into becoming a non-smoker and it may surprise you to find that you've already transitioned I know for me there was no flashing light moment there was no time when I woke up and went ha ha I've done it I've reached the milestone you know I didn't sort of like cross any finish line nobody gave me a medal to say congratulations you are now a non-smoker kind of happened without me realizing it without me even thinking about it I remember one time somebody saying okay just keep taking one step forward and one step forward and you keep taking one step forward at some point you are going to look back and you will be amazed at how far you have come and that was kind of like how it was for me when I quit smoking at a certain point I stopped thinking about it I was stopped 
being consciously aware of the fact that I wasn't smoking, you know, and then all of a sudden somebody, you know, there may have been somebody smoking in a film and I kind of went, oh yeah, I used to do that. And now it seems like this very weird, strange thing that I no longer do. I hope that has been helpful for you. I hope that has answered that question as best as I am able to. On the subject of questions, I kind of have a favour to ask. If you want to reach out and ask me questions or tell me things or just get in touch, I'd like to ask, please don't use Facebook Messenger to reach out to me. Now, I'm not saying don't reach out via Facebook Messenger because I don't want to talk to you and I'll ignore you. I'm not trying to be mean about it. I tend to try and keep my Facebook profile like this the Facebook profile that we all have I tend to try and keep that for friends and family and sometimes if you reach out via Facebook messenger and send me a message it goes into this weird black hole of like people that I'm not con you know if you're not connected to me on Facebook your message will go into this weird other folder and I might not see it sometimes I get I dig into there and there's been messages from like weeks ago that I didn't see and that I didn't get a notification about so I miss that if you do want to get hold of me the best way is probably through the finding freedom Facebook group I have to say that slowly because I get tongue-tied you can get to that at facebook.com slash groups slash finding freedom one I also do have a public Facebook page where I will interact with people through that group and that's uh, facebook.com slash Chris Scoyles. You can come like me there. If whatever you want to ask me or talk about is a little more private, you'd rather not put it in a public forum, you can email me. There is a page on my website with I think an email form I'm pretty sure I haven't checked this before we turn the camera on I'm pretty sure the address is chrisscoyles.com slash contact before this video goes up I will double check that look in the description below and you'll see that link there if you want it okay I am absolutely freezing I can't feel my fingers so I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Michigan, for having me. We're heading back on to England next week. For more videos like this on a weekly basis, please do subscribe. I will see you next time.